that began with the discovery of a man's naked body floating in a water tank southwest of Sydney. Matthew Green was found in the grounds of an exclusive Catholic boys' college. But how did he get there and how did he die? Oh, shit. Bloody hell. A sinister find that would stagger anyone. I just discovered a bloody body in the tank. Yeah, a human body. When I first seen the body, uh, I was overcome with shock, actually. Reg and, Mulholland uh, recalls the day, just three weeks ago, he discovered a body in a St Gregory's College water tank. College maintenance workers made the discovery early this morning. It was Tuesday the 5th of October when Reg's routine check of the drinking water supply revealed the naked body floating inside. The yet-to-be-identified body was that of a man. Found nearby, a pair of shredded jeans, a clue still puzzling Detective Inspector Dave Shorricks. This seems to be the confusing part, uh, that we've got various parts of jeans... Found all over the place. Found all over the place. But why are they ripped? Why are they tattered the way they are? No blood stains by the look of it? Well, our forensic people have gone through them and they don't believe that there is. 24 hours later, Dave had a name to go with the corpse. On the Wednesday morning, yeah, uh, I received a phone call so from a uh, male yeah, person who turns out to be his, uh, a friend of his that he was residing with, saying, look, I think my uh, friend could be the person in the tank. A fingerprint check confirmed the caller's fears. The body was that of 31-year-old Matthew Green. Matt's girlfriend of 10 years, Lorraine Cochrane. He was my best friend. He was everything to me. You know, my life just doesn't want to go on without him. In this case, it's not just how the victim died that's so mysterious. Where he died is just as puzzling. Did someone lug Matthew Green, who weighs 64 kilos, up these steps and then force him through a restricted opening into the tank? Or did Matthew climb in himself? a task which would have challenged even the most experienced contortionist. It's a bit of a Houdini, isn't it? Well, Houdini used to be able to get out. Adding to the intrigue, police found another entry hole in the roof of the tank wedged shut. The other manhole that, was, uh, that they classify as the true manhole was covered by a garbage lid. When that garbage lid was removed, it was um, covered over by cobwebs. An autopsy was as inconclusive as the rest of the investigation, apart from revealing what Matt had been up to before his death. We know he was, had uh, some alcohol in his system. We know that he had um, cannabis in his system. We know that he had uh, amphetamines in his system. And we know that he had uh, dioxepin in his system. Dioxepin being? Being uh, probably an antidepressant, anxiety type uh, barbiturate. Mm -hmm. And we know that he had uh, uh, methadone. Would it be fair to say that he was high as a kite at that stage? Well, the readings don't indicate that. So if it wasn't by overdose, how else could Matthew Green have died? The tank had only a metre of water in it, indicating that if Matthew was conscious when he went in, he could have stood up in it with plenty of air and headroom. So was it suicide? He wasn't depressed, he wasn't upset, he loved life, you know, he wasn't somebody that wanted to kill himself, you know, he normally can pick that up. No, definitely not. Police believe the body was in the tank for about four days. Now that means during the time, students and staff who stayed on at the school over the October long weekend were drinking the water, oblivious to what it contained. Give you the heebie-jeebies though. I tell you what, it did me because I'd had a drink of coffee prior to coming up here. Oh dear. <laughs> How did you hang on to it? Uh, with much difficulty. <laughs> you were feeling a bit crook, no <laughs> a doubt. A bit wheezy, yes. Have you ever seen a case like this before? No. And it's probably the first one that I've been directly involved with that uh, uh, we can't come up with one solid scenario. So, what happened to Matt? Police believe Matthew Green rode his bike to St Gregory's College, Campbelltown, on the day he died. That was three weeks ago at the start of the New South Wales long weekend. The bike was found just 300 metres from the tank in which Matthew lay dead. 
And what about his genes? Who cut them up and why? Was this a homicide, a suicide or an accident? The number to ring if you can help police is on your screen. Coming up on AMW. Yeah, actually the heater in my room's broken. Melbourne's bogus gas man.